Welcome to you. Good morning, good morning. Thank you. So let's cut to the quick here. When you're a <laughs> supremely gifted athlete at the top of your game, surely in the modern climate, the one thing you are most careful about is what goes into your body. 100%. Like everything, even if I just had a headache and I wanted to go to the pharmacy and take something, I'd go on Global Dro, I'd check absolutely everything. Like I was so efficient with that sort of stuff. I just didn't ever want to be caught out for something that wasn't my fault. And we heard that uh, from Maria Sharapova mm. that, you know, she, she took responsibility. It was a mistake, but she had been taking meldonium for 10 years and then they changed the rules. Now, presumably they changed the rules and update the list quite yeah. often but you're given three months notice and then when the rules come in you want to make sure that you're not taking that anymore do you have other people around you checking of do, course when that notification comes through that the rules have been changed is it clear that you get it yeah like obviously you get the letter and like she said she just obviously didn't read the list properly and I'm not gonna lie I've done that before I opened a letter and just gone oh yeah whatever and everyone can do that but I think you have a support team especially as a top professional athlete fair enough if you were just starting out or she's you, the highest paid woman yeah. athlete in the world I mean they also think about taking it for 10 years apparently the recommended time scale is no more than six weeks so I'm sorry Maria if you're watching I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> do you believe it? I mean, do you believe it is credible for someone of her stature to have made such a catastrophic mistake? Because the repercussions, she's lost 100 mm. million pounds worth of sponsorship in 24 hours. I think that she must have known that. She doesn't want to lose that amount of money either. So I do think there probably is something there that she just didn't realize, or maybe she got misinformed. I don't know. Is that likely? It is, because as an athlete, we get told very different things by sport doctors. We can do different things in different ways because your body is your tool. It's everything. So I can see why something has got miscommunicated or something. And I do think she was very genuine, and I, I do respect the way she went about it all, and she did hold her hands do up. You? Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm being too cynical, but I think that was a desperate attempt to save all the money that was about to cascade out of her bank account. It still went out of the bank account though, didn't it? Yeah, I know, I agree, I agree. I, I, I'm cynical because so many of these sports now, I mean, for a sportsman too, I mean, you're out of this now, professional sport at the top level, but it must be very disheartening if you're at the top of your game to see so many sportsmen get done for drug cheating. Completely, I just did absolutely everything to guarantee that that was never going to happen to me. I got drug tested at least once a month throughout my whole entire career. I saved absolutely everything because I just want to be able to say if anyone even questions me, go, no, here you go, here's everything. I did blood profiling on top of that. I knew absolutely everything I was taking. I checked everything. What do you think of drug cheats? I, I, it's sad. It's also very hard as an athlete to be able to stand up next to someone and think, I can't beat them because they've taken drugs. Can you think That's back to worst. people that you were swimming against? No, luckily for me, not in my event, but definitely amongst the swimming world, there mm. definitely is. And I think that's so disheartening that it's already some people that have to stand up against Michael Phelps and already mm. know that you're going to lose, let alone again, then a drug cheat on top of that. Mm. You want to be able to stand on the block and think it's possible for me to get a medal here. Whereas if you don't think that up against a drug that is extremely hard mm. yeah um just talk to us about the jump yes um it's over now Thank gosh. this season yeah. <laughs> um how what how are you doing you dislocated yes. your shoulder right yes dislocated my shoulder in two places so it was extremely painful mm. like the worst pain i've ever been through in my whole entire life so it wasn't the best experience in that sense but i loved my time there but i came back i've managed the pain through acupuncture and all that sort of stuff i've had surgery i'm now on the mend so i'm definitely not going to complain i've got to say you're looking in, in great shape i hate oh, to be so you. overtly physical about this but given you've talked so much about this over the years i mean what's the secret to your dazzling new look <laughs> having a nine month old baby to just chase around <laughs> but you're not able to swim at the moment no i'm not allowed to swim for another two months oh, so i'm goodness. dying to get back in the pool do you still swim i mean when you give up i mean you have to train every day right for yeah, yeah. god knows how many years when you're out of it do you actually still have that desire to get in a pool again yeah it's like my escape it's my get to switch my phone off and no one talk to me for 30 minutes mm. it's the only time i have that it's amazing is your daughter swimming yet yes i took her from three weeks so she, yeah she actually swimming not like properly swimming she's not she racing me laps, you know? <laughs> no. she's nine months now right <laughs> yeah but i take her i take her in the pool not necessarily swimming would but you, I take if her she in the said pool. mummy when she can talk if she said mummy i want to be a swimmer professionally would you say yes or would you say no 
No, of course I'd say yes, but I wouldn't like getting up at half four every morning like my mum had to. Half four? What a luxury. <laughs> we could have a 3.15 around here. You're sat on a nice sofa. That's, that's easy. <laughs> um, he couldn't turn his phone off for long enough to be able to go through with Rebecca. I Great can. to see you. Thank, thank you. It's lovely to see you. It really you. was. And I hope your shoulder gets better soon. Oh, thank you. I like that show. It's like a reality death show. You tune in and you watch celebrities breaking things every ten minutes. It's great TV. Oh, <laughs>